I asked you guys something that I thought was a near impossible challenge, to make something musical with this random set of notes. Now, I've done a number of these random set of notes turned into music challenges, and I'll tell you, it's incredibly hard to get it sounding like anything more than a random set of notes. But man, oh man, I am blown away by the quality of the things that you sent me. Today, we're gonna go through some of these submissions, and at the end, I'll show you what I came up with. Let's get to it. Now, with every entry, I got people to explain to me how they incorporated the random notes, in case it isn't obvious. To kick things off, Andy Dalble composed a Spanish-style guitar piece where the random notes form the basis of the higher melody part. Let's take a listen and see what he came up with. Wow. Wow. It's beautiful, it's distinct, it's so far outside of anything that I would come up with. Flamenco guitar is like a completely different instrument that I know next to nothing about, but even so, I found this engaging. His chord choices were outside of the box and were quite interesting and just generally well executed. Well done, Andy, I love it. It sounds like music. Uh, he does offer a longer explanation as to what he did and how he incorporated the random notes in his video. And I'll link to all these videos in the description as well. Now I should mention that everyone who gets featured in this video is getting a $250 gift certificate from the sponsor Sweetwater. And I'm so happy to be partnering up with these guys again for another one of these. I'm a longtime customer of theirs and have had nothing but great experiences shopping with them. They really do go above and beyond to make sure that they offer the best online guitar buying experience. I mean, for every guitar over $300, they will photograph your specific guitar and then a technician will go over everything with a fine tooth comb to make sure it passes the 55 point inspection test. They have the kind of massive selection you can only get through an online retailer like Sweetwater. There's live support, you need it, and personalized gear advice. Anyone who's bought anything through Sweetwater will tell you how impressive the customer service is and every time you buy something with them, they also send you a free bag of candy and who doesn't love a bag of candy? Whenever I need something, these guys are my default option and you can see a list of the gear that I use that they also sell using the link that's in the description. Check out sweetwater.com for your next musical purchase and you won't be disappointed. Anyways, let's get back to it. Next up, Creepture's track uses samples of my vocals from the video I made discussing the challenge and then he uses random notes as the melody to his tune before going into a solo. Let's take a listen. Sample it. So as far as taking the notes and just basically playing them as written, all with the same rhythm, it's not the most creative or even musical approach, which makes it that much more impressive that he was able to make a backing track that made this pretty uninteresting melody sound interesting and musical. The kind of chaotic nature of it makes the randomness of the melody sound more composed by comparison, which is just a really interesting approach and effect. The solo was also quite engaging. A huge portion of guitarists have blues roots, whether they know it or not, but I feel like Creepture is coming from a very different source of musical inspiration, which is always super cool to hear, especially when it's executed so well. Moving on, MDD22 transposed the notes. So instead of being notes from the key of C major, um, they come from C natural minor, which would sound like this. From there, he added some rhythm and rocked it out. Let's take a listen. All the entries, and there were a lot of entries, MDD22 is the only one who did this minor swap. 
even for me, as I was working on my own thing, struggling greatly with this, this fairly obvious change didn't occur to me. It turned out great. He was able to bring life into this. He clearly has a very strong sense of musicality and rhythm. One of the things that stood out to me was the backing track fit really nicely with the melody. All of it worked together. All in all, well done. Next up, Austin E created an 80s synth pop track where he used bits and pieces of the random melody to make things like chord arpeggios and melodic ideas. Check it out. I specifically stated that there are no rules for this challenge. So cutting up the melody and using it for arpeggios, using some of the notes as a starting point for melody and then going in other directions, great. I wanted this to be a springboard for your creativity. So to see all the different approaches and takes on this is honestly very cool. Now for Austin's track, I would say if you wanted to take this one step further, the mix could use a little bit of work. I think the sleigh bells and the main melody were a fair bit too loud for my ear and it would be nice to hear everything kind of glued together a little bit more. I'm not a mixing engineer, I get it, but this would be one way to get it to the next level. Next up, Greg Goso made a solo guitar Chet Atkins style thing with this melody. Here we go. Oh man, I love this style of playing and I do it often. It was a perfect fit and it was very well arranged. And while it's cool to hear people do things that are totally outside of the realm of what you do, it's also cool to hear people do things that you're quite familiar with and you can recognize some of the stylistic elements um, and be like, hey, that's totally something that I would have done, though I don't know that I could have done it any better than that. Floris Colder wrote a lo-fi synthy song where the melody is all derived from the random notes. <laughs> If somebody played this for me and I didn't know that it was derived from random notes, I don't think that I would ever have been able to tell. This was very well composed and just has a great vibe to it. The only critique that I can possibly come up with for this is that I think the drums were just a one bar loop and it would have been cool to have some variation there, maybe some fills, maybe a changing pattern, or even just having like some symbols accentuating parts of the melody. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just so cool seeing how people have taken this randomly generated thing and made proper art with it. Well done, Flores. Moving on, Victor Scher sampled the random notes piano audio that I made and then built a progression underneath, then created some melody and solo stuff over top as the original sample comes in and out. You know, this is actually a great songwriting trick. Take a melody that you're quite familiar with, like Happy Birthday or something, and then write a new chord progression underneath, then take away the original melody and write something new over top. I do this kind of thing whenever I get in a rut. Victor kept the piano part in for parts, but it's still kind of the same idea. Phenomenal playing by Victor here. He's an absolute top-notch musician, and I thought he also got an immaculate tone out of that PRS. And the last of your guys' submissions is Jerry Aguilar, who wrote an instrumental riff, and the low notes, or root notes of it, follow the melody.
Dude! That was so good! Dude! The random notes aren't front and center, but that's fine. They're certainly there. It's just such great playing too. I don't know exactly what you call this style. Proggy math rock. But I loved it. It's flawlessly executed and just so well written too. I suspect the people in the comments will have very, very positive things to say about that. Just so good, man. So good. Okay, now it's the point in the video where I share with you what I came up with and this makes me a little bit self-conscious because there was some amazing stuff that we listened to today, but I didn't listen to any of the submissions before I came up with my own thing because I didn't want to just steal a bunch of ideas <laughs> that were better than mine. I decided to arrange this into a through composed piece of music, which means there's no repetitions. I'm not going back and playing parts over again. I used the random notes for my melody, really working the rhythm. I went through the sequence twice, and then on the third time, I went through the sequence again, but in reverse. After battling with it, for quite some time, I realized that what I was doing kind of sounded like jazzy old style rock, which at this time of year, chuck in some sleigh bells and hey, you got a Christmas song. So check out what I came up with. <laughs> And there you have it. I challenge you guys to make some music with random notes and that's what you came up with. Thank you to everybody who sent in submissions. I am humbled by the amount of talent there is out there. Make sure you follow me over my second channel where I announce stuff like this. And everybody who got featured in this video is getting a $250 gift certificate from Sweetwater. So look out for an email from one of their reps. It's quite a busy time of year, so I don't know exactly when it will happen, but keep an eye out for that email. An extra big thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. They really do go above and beyond to make the online gear buying experience a great one, and I can't recommend them enough. If you'd like to hear how I get my sound, you can find the gear that I use that they also sell using the link that's in the description, and just go give Sweetwater some love, consider using them for your next musical purchase, and you won't be disappointed. Thank you all for watching. If you want to check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of music-related content. You can find that Sammy G merch over at shopsamuraiguitarist.com. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist. I'll see you again soon.